the last show we did with uh, the Nokia Osos was Austin City Limits. Uh, that's a three-day festival in Austin, Texas. Um, headliners were Radiohead, Mumford and Sons, um, Kendrick Lamar. The preparation this time, I think, it was less about some of the technical hurdles, but more about the creative. Um, and that's also another thing that, you know, the Nokia Osos allow us to do is like focus less on some of the technical challenges and components um, so we can really focus more and put more attention on prepping for the creative and how to deliver the best user experience. We are big believers that, you know, the same way that you want to be close and position cameras closer to your subject, we're also firm believers that you need more cameras, that you need more vantage points to make a virtual reality broadcast engaging and interesting. Not everybody understands that, that virtual reality, other than of course like the format where you can look around, it's, it's also 4K video. And 4K video is not as predominant on, on traditional productions either. It's a lot of bandwidth, a lot of information to travel but because in virtual reality, you know, you need that information to achieve, you know, the desired quality, you know, 4K is actually mandatory. One of the very cool things about Ozo is that it actually, you know, out of the camera, um, you're, you're traveling on a 3G connection, uh, a 3G SDI connection. So that is pretty huge because basically we are embedded on an HD world um, throughout most of the length that we needed to bring it back to our transmission truck. And then on the transmission truck, we use the Ozo Live servers to bring that back in the, into the 6G or the 12G world. You end up with 4K and 6G, uh, but you transfer it on, three, on 3G. And you know, that you know, it has implications where you can use traditional SDI cables, you can use a lot of traditional equipment that is already available for, for the existing productions. Something that was also a first for us, and, and again, it's, it's something that potentially right now, the Ozo is the only equipment capable of doing this, um, this quality and the professional and reliability that we're expecting is that we live stream our first two performances in 360 stereoscopic. And yeah, I look forward to, to see where, you know, in our next broadcast, we bring more of that capability from Ozo.